Hey there, geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. We're going to show you how to create a printer's folder shortcut. So basically, if you have a lot of printers, multiple printers, or you maybe use Microsoft Print to PDF, etc., and you find yourself opening that up a lot, we're going to create a shortcut. So there's two ways to do it. We're going to download one, and I'm going to show you how to do it, and it won't take long at all. So check for the little eye up here or in the video description for a link to this tutorial where you can follow through and download printers folder shortcut if you want to go that route click download now and it'll be on your hard drive in a matter of seconds here's the file we're going to extract the shortcut and let's put it on the desktop where we can play around with it extract yeah you can tell I was playing with it before so now we got it to desktop let's go to the desktop here it is right here what I like about our shortcut, we got a pretty cool little printer icon here. So before you run it, it's going to prompt you. Let me show you. So you're going to get this every time. So the first time you do it, go ahead and uncheck that box. Don't miss that. You're going to have to do this every single time. And I'll show you. There's your printers. And again, now that we've unchecked that box, we don't have it anymore. Now we're ready to play around. If you don't like the icon, right-click properties, change the icon, and as you can see, all the icons you can imagine so there you go all right now another neat thing it doesn't have to be in your desktop it's nice to have it here where you can find it so that you can quickly right click and pin it to start give it a second it'll pop up right here there you go change your mind right click unpin from start you can drag it I think well let me drag it you can drag it to the taskbar or that didn't work you can right click and pin the taskbar and that allows you to open it from there. And once again, the exact same way, right click, unpin from taskbar, and it's gone. Change your mind, you don't want it anymore, click delete, and it's gone. Now, if you don't want to download something, I don't blame you. Like I said, we're a download site primarily, but some people don't want to download stuff and I don't blame you. Let's do it ourselves. Once again, I think I mentioned earlier, maybe I didn't look for the little I or the video description to get the link to come to this page. Here are four different lines, depending on your windows. They should all work. I haven't played with all of them. So if one doesn't work, try the other. But in Windows 10, I've tried this one, this one, and now live during the video, I'm going to try this one. So I think they all work on 10, but going backwards, maybe only a couple of them will work, but I'm not sure. But they will work. Just got to give it a try. So we're going to right click on our desktop and we're going to do new shortcut. And you're going to press Control V to copy any one of those four in there. Click Next. Name it Printers. And frankly, you can name it anything you want, but let's go with Printers. And as you can see, each one of these will also have a slightly different default icon. And we mentioned right click, Properties, Change the Icon. You can see it contains no icons. There we go. Thanks. So you can find something in here that looks like a printer somewhere there's one apply okay now you got your little what the heck is that huh. that's a weird looking icon all right so as you can see the nice thing about creating your own is it doesn't ask to run it even though it's just a minor inconvenience so once again right click pin to start pin the taskbar do whatever you want board don't like it delete that's it piece of cake and there you have it. There's a nice little way to get it all your printers in one shot right from a shortcut anywhere you want to put it. Thanks for watching as always, everybody. See you.